Hi guys, this is Dick Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial on creating an ASP.NET Core application with Angular 7. In the last video tutorial, we were working on our home page view, and I told you guys that in order for us to have this home page displayed on only on the home page, we would need to enable routing tutorial. But just before that, uh let's go ahead and add version control in our project so that we can save or publish this project to github or any other repository of your choice but in this video tutorial we will be publishing this project to github so that we can have version control implemented and to implement version control first thing that you want to do is go to github and create an account in github it's free to open or create an account with github once you have created your account all you have to do is click on this option here and create a new repository if you have premium membership you will have the option to create private repos which can only be accessed by you or people that you give access to but in case if you have a free account, then you can only create public repos. So let's go ahead and create a repository. Let's name this repository and we'll give it the name of our project, which is ng underscore core underscore auth. And once again, you can name this whatever you like. Let's give it a description saying asp.net core web api and angular 7 it's optional you don't need to provide description but it's good to have a description so others can identify what kind of project this is and for now we will select the option public and leave this option initialize the repository with the readme file as unchecked and we will leave git ignore as unchecked as well or as none and the license as none and just go ahead and create a repository now you should be taken to a screen like this what you will need is this link here so just copy it now let's go back to our project in visual studio and inside our project what we want to do is build our project so once our project has been built successfully we will go to this option called version control Sometimes these options will be grayed out. If you don't, if you see these options grayed out, just right click on your project and build your project. And once the project is built successfully, you will see the option for version control. Now let's go ahead and click on this option which says publish in version control. You will be seeing a screen like this a pop up. Now the next thing that you want to do is go to registered repositories and add a repository. Let's call this as ng underscore core underscore auth. And for the URL, we will paste the URL that we received from GitHub. Now, the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and click OK. Now we have added a registered a repository. Now we can use it. So let's click OK. And when you click OK, it's going to ask you, do you want to publish this project? And you're going to select Publish. Next, it will ask you for your username and email for Visual Studio. So go ahead and add your username and email for Visual Studio. Next, let's add the email. Once you have added this information, you're going to click OK. Now it's going to ask you to add your username and password for GitHub. So let's do that. Now let's click OK. And if you notice on the top, it says publishing your project and once it is published you will see a option saying publish operation completed a notification 
now let's go back to our github repo and now let's refresh this repository link and now as you see that you have successfully checked in your project and you can see all your file and folders uploaded inside your repository in case for some reason you don't wish to add some files and folders to this repository you need to add those files and folders to git ignore also note that once you have published the files to your github repository then you cannot ignore them if you want to ignore them first you need to add them to your git ignore file and then you will have to publish your project in case if you publish your project first and then decide to ignore let's say your app settings.json file it's not going to ignore it because it's already published so make sure that if there's anything that you want to ignore you first add it to the ignore list so in this video we have learned how we can publish a project to a github repository and going forward if we do any changes we will commit all the changes to this repository now let's end this video here and starting from the next video tutorial we will start coding or continue coding our components for our home page and other views in our angular app thank you for watching this video tutorial please like and subscribe my channel tech howdy